during my quest to develop what would eventually become the vertical stepper, I built the multi-stepper, a GBC module with three different stepping mechanisms. Floating steps on cams, conventional steps on cranks, and something like my extensible tower. This module did not last long, not because it did not work well, but because I did not like the soft factors, the overall size, the strange layout, and the fragile theming. Recently, I dismantled a bunch of unreliable slash experimental modules, the fan, the vertical shooter, and the wave rocker, which inherited the input steps from the original multi-stepper. I wanted something tried and reliable to replace these modules, and I decided to finally rebuild the multi-stepper with a more compact and balanced layout without any theming at all and with my shared power fittings. Looking at the module itself, the input stepper has almost no change from the original. It uses the exact same steps in the exact same configuration, but slightly inset to accommodate the shared power fitting. Because this design agitates the entire input, it has a very low miss rate and could potentially get better utilized in a different module. The lid stops the steps from falling out by accident, uh, especially in transit. They can be quite annoying to reinstall. The biggest layout change comes from the reorientation of the middle steps. These used to all ride on one of the crankshafts, but now each step rides on a different shaft. As a result, the module lost the weird cutout that previously housed the motor and the not particularly necessary counterweight. I relocated the former and removed the latter, and I think this arrangement feels more elegant and looks better. For the last section, I did not change the step implementation, but I did change the crank implementation. Because the support shafts pass through the centers of Technic plates, I need to offset them by half a stud. I originally did this with five and a half length axles with stop, but I switched to a cleaner solution with toggle joint connectors. The driving rods should be made of number one joiners, but I ran out and used an old replacement. The module runs off an M motor with a net gear reduction of 1 to 5. The resulting output speed of roughly 60 RPM works well for single steppers. It runs a little slow on battery and a little fast on regulator. I still don't like how shared power transmits on just one of the four drive shafts, but a heavy module like this should only drive one other module or perhaps two lighter modules at max. Finally, I reduced the output height of the module by cutting out a layer of steps. Ultimately, I found the original implementation pretty reliable, and I would expect the same from the new implementation. 
That being said, I did make instructions this time around, so check out the rebrickable. On that note, this is the end of the video. Please consider subscribing if you like what we do, and have a nice day.